All right, the time is seven o'clock. We are uh, calling this planning and development meeting to order. We're here to discuss a designated outdoor refreshment area for the city of Nelsonville. Um, so I have several questions, but I'd like to start by just asking what work has already been done or exploration around this? I, I don't know, Scott, have you already done some legwork on this? So actually, um, the previous council member that was here, um, Ms. Jones, okay. did quite a bit of the research for this. Um, I believe one of our hangups, I, I, I don't know that we actually had any hangups. I thought, um, well, actually, we did have one hangup, and that was not enough bars in the area. However, since then, um, Starbridge Barbecue has got a liquor license mm -hmm. within the area, and now we have enough. And how many uh, do we need? Four, six. Well, actually, you only need, I think it was two, uh, 50,000 or less. Uh, should include or shall include at least two qualified permit orders. So we we more. Oh, we had that. way more than that before. Yeah, then. if we're over fifty thousand, we have to have four. Say, so I don't. Does the Elks count? Yeah, no, the Elks because they're a private club. They're a private club. Yeah, right. that's okay. We've got plenty right there in that area that would work, which I printed off a list of the permit holders in town. So then, um, then the last. So if we have enough now, so then the last thing that council needs to do is uh, figure out the boundaries that they want to do. I know that um, the last talk, or I know what my suggestion was, was to go clear to the end of Washington and Columbus, clear down to, uh, what's the Legion Street? Is that Campbell Street? So then my, my thought was, Sorry, right. down to the post office and then down to September Street where the Legion is. Okay. So that way, if somebody wanted to get a drink during the Parade of the Hills, that's, uh, I thought about that. That, that way, sense. they're within bounds where we already have events going on and you, know, you don't have to worry about running outside of mm -hmm. a specific area. When you say the Legion, do you mean like that, the military yes, museum? Sir. Yeah. No, okay, cool. Yeah. Right down there, close to the pool. Yep. And then you could also do over to now. Now, here's where, um, so that far down would cover, um, that would also cover when Mount Hawking College gets their new uh, building done that's going to include their distillery, the old LS building. And um, so then we want to talk about how far east and west do we want to go, mm -hmm. you know. I, I wouldn't see why we would need to go any further, or sorry, north, south, east, and west. There would be no reason I wouldn't think to go. Uh, if you went to Frank, Franklin Street, basically, if you said anything on the, in, the inside of Canal Street, that would cover fruit parking lot during the Parade of the Hills. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you. So, like where Fort Street starts. Next to the Let me grab a map. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. You got one, I think. I'll grab it. Something, a piece of paper I can come down. So we, we were talking about this a little bit in the lobby. I don't know if my impression was that, oh, I think I mentioned this to you too, but I'll say it for you know the, the camera. Um, I, I think that there is there are rules about how many police officers you have to have on active duty based on the size of the designated area. Um, so that needs to be taken into account because the bigger we make it, potentially the, the more our costs can increase. And, and maybe there's something more to it that looking at the ORC, basically it just says we have to have a plan for the number of personnel needed to ensure public safety in the area. Oh, so right. we define that number? Yes. Well, okay. Well, yeah, so that's, that's so let's okay. say we have to have two okay. per or however that goes. Okay. Find the size again, make sure I wasn't speaking out of school here. I feel like, I feel like I'm shutting Doug out. Sorry, Doug. No, you're doing fine. Jump right in, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> it's committee, it's it's less, yeah. less formal. I, I think that if it was going on the other side of the canal to catch that last, it should go over as far as the train. So when they have those dinner trains yeah. and stuff, oh, yeah. well, people the, in there, my, what it, the train is their liquor license would allow it. They don't have the right liquor license if the train got. 
probably bring it to it. Well, they would go and take it out. I got gotcha. you. But I like that, yeah. Let me grab a smaller one. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bigger girl. <laughs> All right, not a word. So, yes. Let's pull this over right here. So, um, this being Washington Street. Hey, this is Fulton in September. So we're already talking about coming down to here. We're in town first. This way. We went to the train station. Did they take it? This is the over? Well, no, this is where the LSU train station. Where is it? To be able to get on the train. Like a general train or something. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. And this is the LSU train station. Yeah, it's good. They did it first. Did they come in town early? Yeah. Around town? Yeah. People will have their drinks down through here. This is like a parking lot. Oh, I'm sorry, this is Sports Street. Yeah. So, fruit parking lots like right here. Mm -hmm. I would think that you would want to jump. I don't know how you would say within 100 feet off of, you know, or 50 feet off of Washington Street. I think it would be, we'd be doing our things a favor if we just said yeah. to Franklin, Franklin Street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that seems reasonable. So, if we're making a big square, so we'll say Fulton Street, Kiwali. Down Franklin Street to Fort Street, and then uh, Justin, looking at this map, do we see any reason why we would need to go this way at all? Yeah, which way? So if this is so. Here's the public square, right? Right down past the Chargers. We do the Parade of the Hills down through here, mm -hmm. right? The new LS building, or I'm sorry, the new distillery is going to be put right here. Right. So, and then the train, they do a wine train, they do a beer train. There's, and then Rocky has their booze right here. So you would want, I would think, to have this walkway. Actually, they're right here, Rocky. Mm -hmm. You would think that you would want to leave all of this. Yeah. Where are your pen? Yep. So in theory, we, we know we're gonna have booze here, here, here. There's a crazy wine bar that might open in the next century here. Yeah, they don't have a license. <laughs> um, there's there's Rocky. the factory here. Mm -hmm. There's the train. They don't have a booze license, but they do booze events. They do so, like Jason said, people could walk around town and come to the train. Right, their drinks if it's inside the door. Absolutely. Yeah. And then you have the LS building here that will likely have a booze license. Yeah. And um, so I can't think of anywhere else. Um, the only other thing you might think of is Mexican. That's what I was just saying. Okay. It would be here. Oh yeah. yeah. That's I, I don't know. It's kind of out of the way. Well, but if you're going down no, no, I'm only talking Franklin right here. Yeah, so this way. Oh, Franklin. I'm thinking. Yeah, just keeping everything in this area right here. So I, what I'm thinking just for. We have to keep it in, which that would keep us in the space we need to be in. It's got to be 320 acres. Right. I was going to say something else we need to think about next to the restaurant. Sit down place. Yeah. It is. Well, it's, it's the only dinner place to actually go sit down. Really? Well, you got Rhapsody on Open Square too. They're not. They don't have regular hours. They have a license. So, what are the businesses within this general area here could be affected by that? There's nothing up here. This is. These are the only three places that have. So, these three places have liquor license. There. Someday there, there's a really nice bar right there that doesn't have a liquor license, and uh, it might open someday. This is here if you want. I'll take a look. Get a little context. Yeah, I don't mind. Having identified the, the permit holders, that, that's one thing. The other thing I'm looking at is what about the ancillary sales, the incidental sales that could be affected by any businesses as sure. people are walking back and forth that might 
be a consideration to expand the, the zone. Correct. So, so let's walk through that. Let's run that exercise. So, from this line this way is nothing but houses, mm -hmm. houses, houses, houses. This is all houses right here. And from here down where you live, so this is savings hardware. Right. There's okay. nothing but houses down yeah, this way. Down and then down here, this is the American Legion. Okay. Right. And there's nothing but houses down through here. Gotcha. So, and the Legion doesn't serve alcohol or anything. No, it's just me. Mm -hmm. So I think we've incorporated everything in the square that could potentially sell something. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, and then this is Rocky Boot now. Over here. So the only outlier that would be the Mexican restaurant is the only outlier. So just so you know what we're looking at here. Yeah. So on the square, we have currently three businesses that sell alcohol. You got the mine, mm -hmm. you got Rap City, and then you have Stewart's Opera House. And then there's a wine bar. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I overheard. Yes. Opening yeah. soon. From it's opening. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have a liquor license. <laughs> right. It's really nice though inside. <laughs> And uh, we will not be using it for the purposes of this discussion, no, right? No, and then uh, Starbreak Barbecue inside Rocky has a liquor license, and then the yellow building right at the next light down, um, Hockey College, it has a sign on the outside that's going to be its distillery, okay. dog show place, hot dog, okay. and pizza, or I think ice cream is what it says. <laughs> so, the mouthful, <laughs> yeah. you can get uh, you can show your weenie and eat a weenie all at the same time. <laughs> so, uh so we want to capture all that in the Dora area. Um, and the only reason why we would jump over to Franklin Street is just a nice, easy barrier for our cops to, right. to make sure you incorporate, because all of our businesses are right here on this side of Washington Street, this side of Washington. What's pumping into the uh, John John. Family Services. So question, can this be expanded for certain events? So I have the ability to I have that authority now where I can make something. Well, my thought is, Fred the Hills, y'all know, I mean, you've been around long enough. People come in from out of town that haven't been here. That's when everybody comes back. So what if we was able to open it down through here and pick that up, because then that park's going to be there. So people who graduated from this school, if they're in town and they're up here and want to have a beer, say they just want to take a stroll down, look at the old school and stuff, they could sit down over here and then go get something to eat. Maybe just... Certain times. Well, to be honest with you, and this I think would be a question for you guys and Laura, for you guys and uh, sorry, the lawyer, I don't think there's any harm in it where we could just run it down Fayette, across Watkins, and then down Myers. And then you capture it, the new park, and this. Because the reality I'm just is taking the new park where people are in, like the Fred the Hills, when they come, because a lot of older people come back and they're going to want to stroll down by the school that they went to. I get that. But they, they need to carry a beer down that residential neighborhood. At, you know, what, the if they, what if they're just walking down through there and they were hearing stuff? That's people like you and Angie. It's not like you're going to walk down through there and cause trouble. No. You're no, just no. going to walk down, set the park for a little bit, or, get, or go over and get something to eat, bring a beer back, sit down, and then head. Yeah, I mean, it's up for discussion. I don't know. I don't know that I love it right off the top. Yeah, I'm inclined on uh, <laughs> round one to be a little bit more conservative. And if people are happy with it and like people are spooked by the concept, like, oh, this isn't so bad, then maybe we could revisit. Well, that's why I asked a little bit too. Yeah, yeah, we can do anything. Right. Yeah. Like yep. yeah. The four days, right? The yep. days yeah. on the yeah. So there's going to be an education piece for the community too, because the boundaries have to be established. I have to be familiar with them. You have to know what the rules are. And if you got people coming down on the highway, what 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 mechanism do we have to make sure? Well, you got to put stickers on like the traffic lights at like corners. Mm -hmm. So like I know they do that in Athens, and so they have a ton of them. So you can't miss. What about it, having you know, some signs made? Yeah, yeah. so you have signs, well, just say stickers, and stuff. Right, right. Right. Well, yeah. luckily, right here next to Rocky is a natural alleyway, and then we can just turn it and go down Fayette because right on the other side of the EMS station. Is a natural alleyway, so we can use natural 
you use some kind of different color. And you print the or rules or on the cups. I'm sorry. Right. Is that like the right. color yeah, when I was down in Clarksmith. We can paint the road. Yeah, yeah, paint the road. Yeah, red we can put a purple or, line right yeah, across the EMS and just door it because it'll be down Fayette Street. It's not yeah. going to be super obnoxious. Yeah, maybe stencil door on top of it. Yeah. Like a door lift or door a boundary or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. not a problem. Go down there because you're only going to have it right there on Fayette. You know, and uh, and then we can do it on the Rocky Road as well, Dora. There's no reason to put it on Canal, right? You know, because it's not really a problem over there. Most people are going to get to cross the lock, you know. But uh, and then we'll get a bunch of little signs. Yeah, yeah, just mark it up really well. So I'm going to ask a stupid question. There isn't a dumb question. The research that's already been done mm -hmm. by your former council members. Do we have access to that? Was it? Yeah. I think we've reached the limit of where that was anyway. Okay. So I think we're good. Yeah, it was just deciding on what we were fine with as far as space. So, That's um, my favorite pen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, where's the more Porter pens? Those are my favorite. I can't find a thousand of them. Can I steal a picture of this? Yeah, go just ahead. Time, please. Uh, most of mine quit working. <laughs> Warranty ran out. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Take them to the service department. <laughs> so, so we would say that. So, so I just want to make sure that we're using the right terminology. So we're going to say September Street, Fulton, and Cable Alley, because these are the three names mm -hmm. of these streets. And then uh, Franklin Street from Cable Alley to uh, Fort. And then. Uh, the public square, Rocky Boot Way, up, up, uh, Fayette to the EMS station alley, across Canal Street to the Rocky Boot Alley, and then around Meyer Street, back to Rocky Boot Way. And then, and then also, in addition to that, Will be the railroad tracks <laughs> behind Rocky Blue headquarters. Yes. Also within the door. Oh. And that will just, you know. The, will the railroad tracks be the back side of it? Yeah. The whole way down through? Yeah. So that way it'll pull the yellow, deal with that last And we can have a new map made too for the Yeah, we'll, we'll need to. Yeah, well, it'll we'll be shaded. Yep. And I think Athens did purple cups, if I recall correctly, Dora. And that should be our theme. Do whatever color you guys want, I don't care. The orange, the orange, yeah. orange, I mean, yeah, like the Buckeyes. Yeah. In Portsmouth, they were they were clear, but they were clear, and then and the door was real bright. And on you just had enough of them that you thought they were clear. Uh, it was clear. <laughs> uh, so if we do orange, that way we can do orange maps. Because if we do the signs, the little signs with the orange, we can also include a picture of the map as well, so yep. that know yes. is where on yep. there. And then also it's easy for PD. You know what I mean? That way it's very clear. Yeah, the unambiguous, like this is where it is. Yep, absolutely. So that's the physical boundaries. We also need to talk about hours. Okay. Um, so, you know, I know Athens does like Thursday to Sunday. That's one approach. You know, I think some cities do 24 seven, but then give their mayor or their city manager power to turn it off and on, depending on what is happening in the city. Okay. Um, I don't know that I have a strong opinion right now on what the approach is. Was there something that we already had in mind, or what were you guys thinking? Um, me personally, I think because as little as we do have going on, mm -hmm. I like the idea of just let it be 24-7 mm -hmm. with the option to shut it off or something. Yeah, with like 72 hours notice. You know, yeah. so if we start having problems mm -hmm. with something, yeah. I like the option just to swoop in and shut it down immediately. Yeah, sure. Um, Especially as it goes to what we're trying to do as far as break forest and now and things like that. Yeah, or maybe even change the hours in the winter. It may be, yeah, maybe that's a thought too. But you know, if we're bringing people to town for vacations, they can go ride four wheelers, do this different stuff. On a, you know, a Wednesday, you know, they're going to maybe they want to drink and we're like, oh no, we're going to do it Friday night. Well, and it's Probably less enforcement for us. Like we don't have to make sure the businesses are following the hours because it's right. Right, whatever the hours are. Yeah, keep it simple. Yeah. With that. Okay. And it's less for PD to worry about as well yep. and everything. So, I mean, it's completely up to you guys, but that's that would be my recommendation. Good. Great. Good. 
I agree. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, I concur. I think then the next thing would just be to check with the business owners real quick. Then mm -hmm. check with the mine. Check with. Uh, I do have a letter of support here from the uh, Nelsonville Area Chamber of Commerce. Oh, good. Uh, they said uh, Nelsonville Area Chamber of Commerce, Commerce emphatically supports the development and implementation of a door within the city of Nelsonville. Nelsonville would join the other over 100 communities that can speak that have established a door as outlined by section 4301.82 of the Iowa State Code. The chamber is charged, charged with assisting existing businesses and enticing new businesses to come to Nelsonville. Designated Dora would aid in this goal and show Nelsonville as a forward thinking, progressive business minded community. Oh, look at us go. The chamber is confident in the committee to plan the district to ensure that the health and safety guidelines, as well as enforcement measures, are established. Please reach out to the chamber and its directors to assist in however possible. There you go. They're on board. Great. Um, yeah, we should still talk to individual businesses. Um, how is that something that you want to do? I do we? I don't know how to. What the best way to divvy that work up is? Well, we can um, talk with uh, the uh, management of the uh, uh, liquor establishments. Yes. Yeah, but like, which like, who is the point person for reaching out to each of those ones? Or we only have really four to talk four. to. So, okay. uh, so probably. Oh, Betty for Rhapsody. I believe I've already spoken to her about it and she's on board. So Tim Peacock, yeah. Tim, Marcy, and uh, whoever Rocky, I don't know. Yeah, we know the Rocky guy. We yeah. see him at lunch all the time. Yeah, so it should be a big problem. So, I mean, uh, it's up to you guys. It, you, have you got, do you guys know? I'll reach out to Marcy. I don't know her personally, but I'll reach yeah. out to her. And what about the other businesses? Do they get buy in and input, like Mama Rainey's, the flower shop? Uh -huh. Well, so I've already, I talked to uh, New Market today, and uh, Miss Lur, who's still associated with New Market, she's not New Market, but she still has a relationship with them. And she was stoked. Yes. And um, so I can't. Uh, sure I can't imagine being, for sure. I can't imagine being, being <laughs> in any way, shape, or form against that. Yes. Um, and. Um, you know, I, I would think that by the end of the weekend, just through a couple of phone calls, I got Tim's number two. We can call him. Yep. We can, even after we end the meeting tonight, we can probably just call these three people or four people and just have that quick answer done. Right. You guys want I just meeting. I just think as a courtesy, if we get the nod from everybody on board, then we don't have any yep. after the fact. Oh, well, wait a minute. I, you never I didn't know this yeah. was going to happen and this is affecting me. You know, sure. Yeah. And there, there is a cooling off period too, or you know, a thirty day, thirty to forty five day period as well that we have to go through building a hearing and all that good stuff too. So, and post it, all that stuff, sure, advertise it. So, there'll be some mechanisms for people to be aware of what we're, what we're doing. Yep, I agree. Yep, we should make sure everybody's pulling the same road here. Great. It's called great building consensus. So. <laughs> Uh, get that potato. <laughs> See how I did that? Um, I have a couple. These are probably more like second generation questions, but I'll still throw them out there. Um, do we provide, does the city provide any other kind of like um, event based permits that allow people to drink on the square? So, because this would potentially like pull income from people who bend at those events. And so, it's a small drawback potentially, but I wanted to at least think about it. So since COVID, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if there's been a single event on the there square. Hasn't. Yes, yes, there hasn't been, been a single event. There hasn't. So um, prior to COVID, actually prior to me, um, there used to be Final Fridays, but that died. Mm -hmm. And um, Somebody told me, and this is just hearsay, that they were that they have margaritas at the smoked meat festival recently. The and smoked meat festival is canceled indefinitely. Oh, okay. It will not it's it's completely done. Okay. All right. Well then. Never mind. I got the Are you email. Kidding? I got the email. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that months ago. Yeah. Completely yeah. Good. done. Couldn't get anyone to work it. Okay. Well, well I was out of the loop on that, but uh well even right. the uh, the Elks isn't going to have a beer garden this year. They didn't have one last year. No, yeah, they they're they're fine without it. Okay, well then it sounds like my question is not an issue. We are moving up the note. Yep. Uh, 
Next thing. Um, so, you know, I think generally cities buy these cups and then resell them to the businesses Ooh. at some kind of profit to use it to fund the Dora. So Athens buys them at a buck a cup and sells them back for about 50 cents. I mean, buys them at 50 cents and sells them back for a dollar. Uh, so and then they, the cup cost, we had to get a band mm -hmm. down in, when I was in Portsmouth, it was a dollar for the band. Okay. So the, in that case, the consumers buy the band. Yeah. So yeah, it, like it, I walked out, we were in a bar, mm -hmm. had a couple of beers, yeah. and we wanted to go hit some more of the antique stores. Mm -hmm. And it, it was a dollar to buy the band, but the cup also said door on it. So if you were in one of the stores, if you had long sleeves or something on, mm -hmm. your cup was still warm. So, that, so that's one way to do it. Yeah, in Athens, they just do the cup, and it's up to the businesses whether they want to, if they want to upcharge to like, you can spend a little bit more and take your drink outside or you can pay the normal price. Um, but I know in Athens, they set prices and they use that money to, you know, if they have an extra police officer or whatever, it's just a little something to help pay for it. So that's something that we'll need to consider too. That's awesome. Um, I didn't yeah. know that. Mm -hmm. Bring in that revenue. Yeah. Yeah. And that was um, the other concern I had out in the hallway there was we've got to make sure that this doesn't, that the program can fund itself. You don't want the vendors to have to so whatever, however we yeah, do. well, you know, and that's, I think, usually why the vendors, you know, will just sell their drinks at price, or if the customers want to take it outside, they, you know, have the liberty to pay the extra, you know, or if they want to eat it, they can too, but I think what, that, that's how What's it's the price different. difference in it? A buck. Yeah. So if you want to take it beer outside, it's a dollar? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I mean, they, I mean, maybe some businesses could do more if they wanted. Well, but I'm just thinking. Could they keep here? the cup and refill it? I don't know. I think it's probably yeah. something we use. Yeah, I, I imagine. The only thing I think here, you're going to have a hard time getting anybody to use it for an hour. You'll have a handful so. of people. We don't have the money that Athens has. Sure. Yeah. And it doesn't, and I'm not saying that those numbers have to be it. Maybe it's 50%, 50 cents more instead. Um, and they probably buy fancier cups. So I don't know. Like I said, yeah. the one I had, it, it was clear, but it was yeah. almost like a red solar cup. But it was clear. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just something to think about. It doesn't have to be a deal breaker either way. But, you know, no, I think we need to do something. Yeah, no, I, I just didn't know that that was a that was a Which, thing. I mean, it makes sense for you know, police to be able to determine yeah. if someone's yeah. doing what they should be or not. Well, and it costs the city more money. You know, we're we're getting these cops and making sure they have the right stuff and putting up signs and having police officers and stuff. You know. Um, by the way, just for the public meeting, um, I've already verified with Chief Fitch. He's 100% in support of this. Great. So. Okay. Well, uh, any, I mean, are there any other questions that you guys are thinking of right now? And then we can kind of start thinking about our next steps here. You know, do you want to try and meet again before the next meeting to have legislation for the next meeting? Yeah, I think so. Um, so the deadline for legislation is Wednesday, mm -hmm. so we'd have to meet next Monday or Tuesday. I have to do Tuesday and Mondays for July. Oh, that's right. Okay. Well, I can do Tuesday if you guys can. Yeah, Tuesday should be okay. And we can just work out the details, bring it, yep. hammer it all out. Great. And we can get the process started. Like I said, it won't be. Yeah, it's going to take a couple months. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But at least we can get it in place. So. Just blow it up. What is it on Monday? <laughs> you got a party. Great. All right. And uh, and then you'll be reaching out. You guys will be reaching out to those. Well, we can as soon as we hang out the meeting, we'll do it just real quick. So yeah, you guys can hear as well. Okay, cool. All right. Well, then I think that concludes our uh, planning and development meeting. Uh, yes, and it is 729.